went first I left old England shore Such yarns as we were told As how folks in Australia Could pick up lumps of gold So when we got to Melbourne town We were ready soon to slip And get even with the captain And scuttle from the ship With his swag upon my shoulder Black Billy in me hand I travel the bush of Australia Like a true born native man Finally got the Equinox, guys. Mind lab are slow, aren't they? Gee. Anyway, I'm going to do an opening video. What do you think? Hmm. What should I use? Stanley knife. Um. Nah, I couldn't find one. How about this? This will work, won't it? Alright. Let's do it. So as you can clearly see, that saw did the job. I open it up, and look what came out of it. Pretty neat, eh? Pretty, pretty swifty. Little uh, thing over there, in some crazy Russian language. Some kind of empty thing. Some stuff to start your fire with. Jeez, Mind Lab, think of the, co the consumer. You know, it's okay, no, no, them guys know, oh yeah, it's coming up winter. Them guys will need some free fire lighters. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Now to open it up, let's try to take it out for a test, eh? Hey? Alright. So, straight off, off, straight out of the gate, guys, I'm going to tell you, that's a really tidy little machine. You can just tell by the feel of it great quality the grip it's a little bit more more wire because the battery packs built into the handle uh, that's the first thing I noticed compared to the SDC um, I love the uh, coil it's um, the skid plate on it it's made out of this um, pretty durable plastic <laughs> not too sure what, what it's made out of but it feels pretty cool and uh, that's another thing I noticed, first off, the lower shaft, that's carbon fibre. It's a really, really light machine, so you can swing it for hours and uh, not feel it. Um, you get these screen protectors, you just notice all these words on here, when it focuses, mate, noise cancel and all that. Um, that's actually not built into the into the machine that's part of a screen protector you get about 20 of them in a packet when you pull it out of the box all with different languages so you only get one chance of putting the english one on if you screw that up then you have to get to go with, with one of the other ones which is all right if you just speak another language i guess but anyway i'm gonna fire it up and i'll show you now these buttons power buttons just on the side you just hold it down Does its little thingy. There we go. And you're running. Now, first thing you should do is noise cancel. So you do that by pushing that gear button. And then click, yep, I want to do that. There we go. The machine's um, noise cancelled. Um, you can do a ground balance too if you if you want, I suppose. But the, the ground around here, it's not mineralized, so it doesn't matter. Um, what have we got? That's the uh, loudness of your loudspeaker. The loudspeaker is in the back, which is a little bit indirect for the year, but not too bad. It can go up 25. That's the loudest, but there's people around, I don't want them to hear what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, um, that is 
the threshold level. Target tone, I haven't really played with this much, but always going on whatever. Accept, reject, speed recovery, that's the speed you, you're swinging at. And then we're back at the thing, at the main menu. Um, I'm running it in park mode, number one. It comes with preset settings, um, so I haven't played around with them too much yet. But I've found, I've done a couple of days detecting already. And I found number one has been the main one I'm in, so I haven't, uh, I've tested uh, different coins with different settings just to see what the numbers are and then I'll get a mental idea of, of what coin can read what number. And I've actually got a, someone on, U, on YouTube already made an Aussie bloke, he can't remember his name, but he already did did the hard work, work for me. So he's gone over, um, put all different coins out, five cent, 10 cent, 50 cent, 20, all that. And even like your sovereigns and um, half penny and shillings and that sterling um he's done all that and he read up a graph for for you already so i actually just screenshotted that on my phone and now when i go out in the field i can just you know look at the number and go oh hang on is that a could that be a coin what's a what's this this <laughs> number mean so that's really handy that's a tip for you um that's something i found because i'm new to this whole numbers coin hunting detecting whatever you want to call it picking up bottle caps and combing the park for nails and <laughs> bottle top screws whatever <laughs> and finding the odd five cent piece but anyway <laughs> um so multi-frequency you got that button there so that's just you can set it to one frequency if you want, or or you can go bang, multi, all of them at once. So that's the main reason I bought this, because mine lay a bit. Um, it says that this is this multi frequency obsoletes all single frequency machines by using this multi technology. So that's cool, and. Um, yeah, that's the buttons are pretty good. Like the whole unit's pretty tidy. Uh, I did notice too. They got this fancy wireless charging plug on the back, and it's magnetic. Full focus. It just not really clips. It just places on there. Just. Chunk. And you're charging. That's that was pretty impressive. I thought a wireless charging unit. Um, yeah, the cables for it—they're just a USB cable, um, like a iPhone charger cable. You you got a charger with a USB slot into it, so uh, you're not stuck with one plug or whatever. Um, now the unit did come with Bluetooth headphones and a little box, Wi-Fi box thing. Um, I haven't used that yet. I try. I oh, messed around for maybe a couple of minutes trying to to get the was it the WM08 or MW08 little Wi-Fi uh, unit. Um, tried getting getting it all to connect up, but no, I was just in a rush, just wanted to get out and try it, so I used a loudspeaker. So I'll probably do another video on that later on. But from what I hear, they're a pretty good good thing to have, the wireless headphones and that. You're not hooked into anything. You can just dig a target and, you know, put the detector down. You're not worrying about cords getting tangled up in your ear or, <laughs> or clothing or whatever. Um... So that's just a quick summary of it. Well, something's going on there. Anyway. Rightio guys. Just picked up a five cent piece down there. 
giving off a 10 signal. And you'll notice there's the little depth arrows there. Gives you a rough estimate of how deep it is. So that's at three arrows. So I guess that's maybe an inch and a half, maybe less. Um, it's only a rough estimate. I assume if you have the sensitive sensitivity cranked right up, which right now it's at 10, um, the sensitivity would, if it was cranked right up, the depth gauge would mean if it was saying three arrows or two arrows, that could be three inches, not an inch and a half, if you know what I mean. This goes up to five arrows depth. Sorry about the wind, if you can hear it or not. Um, yeah, so five, five arrows could be over 12 inches if the sensitivity was right, turned all the way up. But I'm down at 10 because I'm not trying to find those deep targets. I'm just after the first inch or so just to try and find modern coins. So I found a five cent piece there, down about an inch and a quarter inch and a half nice little machine beautiful thing about this machine is it's fully waterproof only not the inside obviously <laughs> so take it down the beach fully waterproof up to two meters i think it was so i'm going to plan a trip down there one day maybe i could bring the camera along um but yeah it's starting to rain a bit more and uh a bit windy and that so, I would uh, like to leave it there, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the Equinox video. Um, and the interesting way to open a box. Um, and the music in the background. Um, is that Imagine Dragons or something? <laughs> anyway. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep the coil to the soil. Thanks for all your support. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, cheers. Have a good one.